This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... We use coins. Dot com! Well, you've probably heard of Heron of Alexandria. This is Wendy of New Hampshire. You're not as much of an inventor as Heron. But, you still have some important things to tell me and interesting uh, news for me. And I would like to talk to you a little bit about what's happening to your boyfriend, Rich Paul. I assume he's still your boyfriend. Well, I love him like crazy. Well, let's just say I'm, uh, I'm his friend in every way that I can be. And he sure needs those right now where he is at. It's no kind of a spiritual retreat, that's for sure. Right. And you've said that the Cheshire County Jail, after his marijuana arrest, uh, has been uh, poorly treating him. Tell me a little bit about what, what you know. Uh, yes, the write-ups are happening about on a weekly basis right now. Minor write-up versus major. Major would be something that takes your good time away. Minor, <clears throat> something they punish you by taking your visits away. Well, I mean, I wasn't shocked. Jury nullification is always a uh, long shot. Uh, for a week, and then write you up again. And so these write-ups have included the most recent he, Rich was asking the jail for new shoes for several days. Last Saturday they proceeded to write him up for poor hygiene of his shoes and take his visits away for a week. The one before that, um, let's see, he didn't get up <clears throat> fast enough, 5 a.m. one morning to go work in the kitchen, then move fast enough. Write up, take your visits away for a week. Um, let's see, another one was he was pushing one of those carts in the jail, got to a locked door where you are supposed to wait to be noticed before you press that button to say, please open the door. So he didn't wait long enough to be noticed. Another well, write-up. Well, like, that sounds like treatment of children. Yes. It sounds like the way a busybody parent would inappropriately treat their child, maybe. This is almost like kindergarten, or not even. I don't know if it's even kindergarten maturity level with this treatment. Um, another one was, uh, let's see. One is a no-brainer. Rich was up on the second deck, and he walked a distance of four doors, which is called exercising by one guard. Wrote him up for exercising on the second deck. No visits for a week. You know, my experience in that jail, I have to say, in fairness to them, was uh, was not like that. They were, they were all respectful towards me. They, they did uh, give me a cavity search, but they seemed guilty about it, and they, they kind of were apologetic. They seemed to all know about me and and wanted to meet me, <laughs> or some of them at least did. And um, I'm saddened to hear that there's this apparent change of behavior uh, when it's rich. It is um, pretty pretty low stooping behavior because this didn't start until um, a certain blog post that Rich wrote up called House of Corrections is House of Horrors for the Mentally Ill and right after that hit Free Keen the write-ups began pretty much on a weekly basis. Well t to me Rich Paul is a, is a hero because of the fact that he refused to you know rat out his friends when the FBI wanted him to um, and so he just probably deserves better treatment than what than what I got because all I did was just a, a much more minor much less courageous type of thing but um, one one thing that uh, that was on my mind uh, superintendent van Wickler's handling of this um, I uh, you know people sometimes like van Wickler because he is a member of law enforcement against prohibition but he had a chance to release Rich Paul on this totally drug-related crime and didn't do so. That is absolutely true. We got the new program started at Cheshire County called Partial Release. Began on September 26th. There was already one person in it. <clears throat> Rich would have been the second person to get it. The chemical counselor of the jail said, you're fine, you are eligible for this program. And when it came to Van Wickler's desk, denied. No partial release for Rich Paul. Reason? I don't think you'll stay out of jail. If that's a reason.
Bitcoins, Bitcoins. I hate every one who joins for gaining its additional anonymousness, engaging in unregulated busyness. We use coins.com is one place where this wicked people have this wicked fun. I think my head is gone about to explode. Stamped him out before another single person go. Two. We use coins.com.